Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to use the rectangular pattern. And this will give you a good idea on how to make Legos easier. Alright, so when you're in your on shape, you're going to hit create, you're going to hit um, document, and we're just going to call this rectangle. And then your initials. Alright, we are going to start on the front plane right there and hit a sketch. And we're going to grab a rectangle. It really doesn't matter which one you start with. I like starting with the center. And I'm going to click on the center there and I'm going to make a rectangle. And the dimensions are going to be six on the bottom. So I type six and then four on the side. And just in case you didn't start typing, you can always hit dimension, click on that side or click on the bottom and dimension those. And now I'm going to extrude that rectangle that we just made, and I'm going to extrude that by a quarter of an inch. On second thought, let's make it a half inch. Okay, so that looks good. I am going to get rid of this right... There it goes. Okay, just so it's kind of bothering me for some reason. You don't have to do that. Though. Click on this front plane that you just made, click on sketch, and I'm going to select it again. It's going to be a little bit easier if I rotate it and look straight at it. So I'm clicked on my front view, so I'm looking straight at that rectangle we made. I'm going to grab a circle, and I'm going to draw somewhat of a small circle so that it all fits in the top left corner, uh, top, top left area. I don't want it quite on the corner. And now I'm going to dimension for location. That's one thing that we need to start talking about it is you always dimension for the size of it, but you also need to also blah, that's a lot of also. You also need to dimension for location. So we're going to make this a half inch from the side, from the left side, and a half inch from the top. Now I need to dimension the size of it, and we'll go ahead and make that 0.3. Go ahead and finish sketch and I like to click on the top right corner of our box so that I can extrude it and like zoom in and click on it and it just makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay, I'm going to make that a quarter of an inch, 0.25 and okay, we're going to make a whole bunch more of these and you can do that same thing where you can draw a circle, locate it, um, size it and then extrude it. Or you can use right here a, le um, a linear pattern. And we want to make sure we do feature pattern. Click on the feature, click on the entire thing there. And we're going to click direction. And we want to click the line there so that we're going uh, every one inch, we're going to make um, six of them, I think. And. And it didn't draw anything. Why did oh because I deselected. Sorry. So I gotta make sure that this is selected. There we go. It's going the wrong way. So if you click this arrow and you change it opposite direction, there we go. I also wanted to click second direction. I'm gonna click the direction and make it go down. And I wanna do four rows of those and they just showed up. Click on that. I'm gonna check my box and go isometric, and we're done. Uh, that is how you just add a whole bunch of little, uh, what looks like a Lego onto and make a Lego onto it. Now, um, fairly easy, and you could change the pattern very, very easily if you just get back here into linear, linear pattern and you say, I want to make this a half of an inch. Let's see what it does. All right. I'm going to change that back to one inch because that's what I want it to look like. Check it off and you're all done. Make sure you save your work, um, which it does it automatically, which is great about Onshape, and show your teacher when you're all done. Have a great rest of the day.